Bentley, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Back again, back again. Uh, like I said, um, the two presenters to the title. Actually, uh, uh, one uh, now. It's left to one. Uh, big, uh, Arsenal that's, that's Chelsea are officially out of the title race. Mathematically not possible. Mathematically not possible. We have to hope there's a massive brawl and United get dog points. Then <laughs> 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 uh, against Man City. Who, who, who they brawl against? Brawl. Man City. Who, who are they left to brawl against? Against Robinho. <laughs> the Brazilians will just run away talking about. They have, they have, they're not going to stand up. They start rolling it up. They're right before the punch is hit. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I would love Anderson a brawl. To, to back I would love know. a full fledged brawl right now in any nah, any match. Nah, 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 nah. Long time I haven't seen it. Man. The new paper was talking about Roy Keane came out and talked about you know. Uh, Menu and Arsenal and, and and what they had in the past, but it, it's no, different. Penny, penny. Yeah, it's completely, it's completely different. Different already. You know, well, anyway, um, like I said, well, the one left, the the one more uh, pretender left will be Chelsea. Um, third place Chelsea. Um, they face Fulham yeah, midweek. Uh, it's can be said that like a West London derby because both them in West London. Uh, you know, it was a stunning start. Like, I mean, two three <laughs> goals in the first ten minutes, but no, eventually it became boring, boring Chelsea again. Uh, but uh, I think someone called... made an interesting point about the game. Ah. Anelka what? and Drogba actually played off each other very well. Maluda. Oh, Gimpeng! Gimpeng's on, eh? Gimpeng! Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. And I'll... the three of them actually looked like they were linking up well. I think that is what. Uh, uh, Maluda and Drogba. Maluda. Maluda, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think that'll be interesting. Chelsea fans, Gimpeng, you're a Chelsea fan. What do you think hey, about well, that? The two of them working together. Ah, Gimpeng, yes. He's always around, man. Uh, beating Arsenal and winning a title, not too sure, but especially with Arsenal yep. around. If Arsenal get knocked out by Manu in Champions League, then it will be a revenge True. factor for them, more motivation for them to win. And if they win, they might have the mental edge over Manu. RJ, since I have a prediction of Barcelona running right and no can <laughs> didn't come through, in fact, they were totally locked <laughs> out! Neutralised by they Chelsea. They the bus, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 what no, no, Chelsea no, play? What were they playing? They were fucking the bus. Yeah, you know, give them credit. Play. Okay, yeah, give I mean, them credit. They did not play. Yeah, what, ben, the point ben, is, they want to bring it back. Ben, you, you said that about other teams. About how they play. Like Blackburn, Disgrace. Bolton. Disgrace. This is exactly yeah. what Chelsea I, I agree, done, you know? yeah. I agree, but even... Hiddink has come out and said, I don't want to win it this way, but sometimes you got to be practical. And I think this is what we're saying. If on one hand, we are criticizing Madrid for not being able to defend. And Blackburn. Yeah. And Blackburn. And, and we've got to give Hiddink credit that he, he's not, you're not, he's not going to play the same way. Uh, you know you're what? going to see a different team. But he, he knew he had to make sure the tie wasn't done and dusted in that first leg. Yeah, we'll talk about Champions later. But okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Back to the game against uh, Fulham. Yeah, Fulham. Well, uh, what happened to go predator <laughs> Michael or where you come from? Oh, the previous game at Newcastle versus Liverpool. Oh, he's being a Liverpool fan right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he now has not only lost his job. Martin was yeah. the disappointment. I think it's a bit yes. unfair to expect Owen, who really is a Liverpool boy, heart and heart, to really be serious to try and do anything. I think that was ridiculous mm. on Alan Shearer's part. But Martins mm. was a disgrace. Yep. Over Ferry Martins most... looks like he's just waiting for his move Correct. when they go down. I Correct. think that was... I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. And to put yeah. the most motivated warrior, the Jonas Gutierrez on the bench, give your suicide. Alan Shearer has to make the right decision and put the right players before yep. he can get the result. Yep. It's not what Simple size what, what, to me. Like what Edwin said, he's, he's, a, he, he's a failure as a manager. Yeah. And he plays Joey Barton. <laughs> but, but, yes! I, I must say that... Champion. I must say that Chelsea, you know, look good. Beating Fulham, Fulham again, never easy to beat. Mm. Um, I think it's come too late that they're not they're not going to get second place. You know, yeah. um, uh, never mind champion, they're not going to get second place even. Uh, I think it's all all they can do to hang on to third place, which yeah. is still you know important. You know, you know, had Robinho not gone to Manchester City and gone to Chelsea during that transfer um, window, he thought he was going to Manchester. Do, do, do you think that? Do you think that Chelsea? Would at least have overtaken Liverpool um, um, in 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 a. Uh, in a I don't know. Uh, you know, I think Robinho is a frustrating player. It's a, mm. a very frustrating player to gel him into a team like Chelsea. And Mark I don't Hughes know. is not the man. I mean, you, no. you have you, no, no. I mean, it's Scolari Scolari Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, but then. I think, like, look at Deco. You mm. know, I think Deco is a, a wonderful player when he was at Barcelona. Mm. Yeah, Chelsea. I don't know. You know, um, Robinho. Again, there are games that he is he's brilliant, and there are games where he's you know, yeah, even though he's on the pitch, right. you know. So I, I don't know if he would fit in Chelsea all that well. Uh, but obviously, if he, if he did go to Chelsea, he'll be playing a different game as well. Mm. But I don't think Robinho is the kind of player that, that Chelsea needs. You know, that that's uh, for Chelsea next season. 
Rabinho is not the kind of player. Same as um, Charisma, you know, who they bought. It's not the kind of player that Chelsea needs. Chelsea perhaps need a little bit more steel about them and they don't really have that. I mean, you have Essien. Michael you know. Carrick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe Owen Hargreaves. Uh, yeah. Tim Cahill. Tim Cahill, <laughs> <Tim Kale. laughs> <laughs> I think, has a love affair with everything going on. I don't think he's going to leave. Yeah. So, any, so anyway, um, Chelsea is, um, well, easy win for Chelsea. Also, uh, their La- London neighbours, uh, Arsenal, uh, also had an easy win, but uh, it's uh, they play at Fratton Park. Um, uh, 3 0, Portsmouth, I think. Yeah. 3 0 over Portsmouth. 3 0, yes. Uh, Nicholas Bender, two goals. Well, well I, I don't think they have the score, score line, but never mind. <laughs> Nicholas Bender scored two before Carlos Vela. Carlos Vela but scored the third, right? The difference is yeah. Nicholas Bender there, spelling slightly wrong, no, you, the Santa Claus. This Nicholas, Nicholas. Okay? He was there. To hit the ball, Adebayo would have been offside. <laughs> so that's the difference. Okay, uh, yes, it was a fumble by England's number one. That's why it should be Manuel Almunia. <laughs> <laughs> but the oh. point is, Bentner got there and yes, rose okay. and powered the header. I think uh, James was deceived by the pace of the ball. <laughs> that's all I can say. But well, however, you know, win is a winner. But uh, even with that win, Arsenal are officially out of the title race. Officially out now. Mathematically impossible. I don't have to dance in Leotard. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not disappointed. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh. Uh, but, um, so, so how has been this season, I mean, league-wise been for, for an Arsenal fan? Was it, has it been more frustrating rather than more uh, gratifying? I think it's frustrating in the sense that some people say maybe we should have just spent that extra money and got Ashraf in at the start of the season. I mean, but there's two ways of looking at it. Uh, if it come at the start of the season, maybe, you know what I mean, he would have been targeted because he, he would have been pushing them. Maybe with the others also not needing someone to rescue them out, he would have hidden. We don't know. We'll see next season. Frustrating, like I said, we did well even without him. It's just that the players didn't always raise the games for the games they should. Yeah. Ironically, now we are becoming very top four like we're beating all the small teams now but now we can't beat the big teams <laughs> you know what I mean you know, whereas previously we were beating the big teams comfortably so it's hard to say we what we did was for all those critics who said Arsenal would be out of the top five not even in the top five prove them wrong um, I'm not saying that's all we aspire to but at the end of the day if Man U win it we are no different from Chelsea we are no different from Liverpool Mm. We have done what we have to do. I think the frustration comes was it could have been so much better if the players had that bit more belief and determination from the start. Mm. They seem to have accepted some of the comments that are going around. That they're too they, young. And, and, they, and therefore, they pick and choose their battles. Mm. We'll prove you wrong in the big games and then don't raise the games mm. for the others because then suddenly they believe that we're I, I think that I think that if I were you, you know, having supported a team that went on, what, 19, 20 game unbeaten run in the Premier League and, you know, I'm not even close to challenging for a title, I might just go and be a Spurs fan. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. I mean, <laughs> fan, I should be a Spurs fan. Next season, they get relegated. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> dig, dig, step and dig, dig in. You know. That's okay. Uh, you see, we're okay. setting up for next season. When we win the, when we finish this league unbeaten 24 games and we win next league unbeaten the second time. Oh. United haven't done. Liverpool haven't done. Oh, Chelsea yeah. Chelsea yeah. are not yeah. 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 52 yeah. games yeah. unbeaten. This, okay. Okay. Calls, Keep the record, man. this calls the record. for the classic line, give me a break. <laughs> 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 we'll go for a break. We'll go for a break first. We'll come back.